Hey guys, Decav13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Persona 5 Royal. So, in the last episode, we actually formally set up the Phantom Thieves. We are uh, Arcana Star. Uh, we also unlocked the Thieves' Den, which I checked out a little bit. I haven't done anything with it yet, but, you know, I'll, I'll probably wait a little bit to advance the well, to get more stuff in that. Uh, let's see... Let's have we go out and explore. Now listen up. We got the key last time from Sojiro, so now we can actually go out outside of Yongenjaya at night. Welcome. There's still nothing new here. Let's see. EY Street Orator. Well, we might as well do that. Let's go to Station Square. And let's talk to. Please consider what I have to say. There have been far too many incidents recently to ignore. Can anyone deny this? The 108 train incident, a mysterious psychotic breakdowns, a school with a corrupt teacher. We have yet to discover the truth of it all. The apathy that permeates society is a direct result of negligence by our government and the media. You. You're listening quite attentively. Are you interested in politics? I am interested. Are you a student? I'm delighted to, to captivate the interest of someone your age. Hmm, I could help use the help of a young person, but I can't hire someone without any experience. I'm sorry about that. However, it'd be, I'd be happy if you stopped by to hear one of my speeches again. Well, that's all for today. I'm heading to the beef bowl shop. Hmm. That old man's speech was impressive. That kind of talk might be useful for negotiations in the metaverse. But I guess he's looking for someone with more experience. If you could show him your dedication... Wait... He says he's going to a beef bowl shop, right? I was talking about the one on Central Street. What if you work part-time at a beef bowl shop? Show him, show him what today's youth can do. Look, I know it's a stretch, but a true phantom thief can't let an opportunity slip by like this. I mean, hey, since I have the time right now, I might as well do it. See, where's the job board? Oh, it's down there. What are your thoughts? All right. So yeah, order no Becco. Oh. Right. Hello, this is Orino Becco on Central Street. How many people are you ordering for? Oh, you're calling about the job opening. This is great timing. We're in need of some extra hands. I'd take just about anyone at this point. You don't mind working at night, do you? Stop by any time you're free to work. I'll be waiting. We're right by the entrance to Central Street. Hope to see you soon. Oh. That, that, oh. that settles it. You better work hard, okay? Oh, right now. Uh, Central Street. There we go. Come think of it, you applied for a part-time job at this beef bowl shop, right? Alright. Oh. Yeah, let's work. I've been waiting. Oh, you're the new part-timer, right? I've been expecting you. No need to introduce yourself. I just need you to start working right away. Any questions? Do you have any questions about the job? No, not really. Thanks in advance. Okay, I need to head out for a bit. Keep an eye on the shop until I get back. Mm. This job is ludicrous. You have to do everything all by yourself from the very beginning? Ah, oh, well, just give it your best shot, I guess. I'll be cheering you on. Hey, wait! Hey, there are dirty plates still left on the table. And there are customers in front waiting to pay. Are you gonna be okay? Nice work. Alright, good work. You can leave now since it's the end of your shift. This is your pay today. Thank you. Well, I hope you can keep it up. Man. Are 
You okay? You were all alone out there this whole time. But you still managed all those orders by yourself. If you ask me, you're pretty proficient. <laughs> oh, there's my proficiency boost. Alright. Let's head back. Come on, let's leave. Oh, Greg, you get to see the fan site comments again. Forgot about that. Hey. Move a little more to the right. I can't see the screen. Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are... Volleyball beating investigation. The school claims to have left teaching methods up to its staff. It is denied once again that it had any knowledge of the beatings. They totally did, though. Pollen warning as of next week. Greater volume and arriving later than in previous years. Hotspots of Tokyo. Experience art in Shibuya. The Madarame exhibit opens next week. Hmm. People are really talking about the Kamashita incident. No wonder it, no one in this car knows that we're the ones who did it. Yep, yep. Oh yeah, you've got exams starting on Wednesday. Don't tell me you forgot. Open your textbooks. Anyway, Today we'll be talking about the tale of the bamboo cutter. Most theorize it's the oldest story in Japan. For some, it's the oldest science fiction story in the world. But if you ask me, it's the oldest story in Japan about a terrible woman. I mean, Princess Kaguya gives her suitors absurd tasks, demands fancy gifts, then runs off to the moon. Some men lose their fortunes, some are humiliated, and some even get serious wounds or go blind. Women like Princess Kaguya actually show up a lot in a lot of stories from around the world. Now then, Kazuna-kun. Do you know the answer? You've probably heard that a woman who uses her wiles to lead people to their doom is a femme fatale. So, what's the literal translation of the phrase femme fatale? Fatal woman. This is it. Exactly. That is correct. The answer is fatal woman. In French, of course. Some famous examples are the witch Morgan Le Fay from Arthurian legend, and Queen Salome from the Bible. Not to mention the wild, seductive dancer of opera Carmen. No you know, Ons persona. Nice going. Wow, you must be really smart to, to be able to answer a question like that. Let me just warn you that exams aren't so easy you can pass them past them with a single night of cramming. Take your time and make sure you understand the material, okay? Hmm. You heard her. Must be rough being a student. Well, you have nothing to lose from studying. Give it all you got. None of these posts are any good. Everyone's just bitching about their parents or their boyfriends. <laughs> Welp. There ain't even a hint of a hint about a new palace. We can't get everything online. Finding a post with a name and location is asking a lot. Guess we just gotta find one ourselves then. Are you seriously suggesting we look for a target that even the police have overlooked? Yeah, you're right. We should probably just hold off till exams are done with, huh? Probably. We can wait and see for a little longer, then worry about coming up empty-handed if it happens. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. You are right, Ryuji? You kind of just vaulted off your head. Oh. Hello. This place is off limits, you know. <sighs> we'll get out of here once we're done chatting. Anyways, what's Miss Council President want with us? The troublemaker, the center of gossip, and the infamous transfer student. Hmm. Interesting combination. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Great way to start a conversation. By the way, it seems as though you got to know Mr. Kamashita pretty well. Who? <laughs> Are you playing dumb with me? <laughs> Perhaps. Just goes to show how little interaction he had with him. Hmm. I heard Mr. Kamashita used a volleyball team member to spread details of your past record. Don't you hate him? Mr. Kamashita, I mean. What's all this about? 
My friend here's an upstanding guy. I don't mean to offend. Many students have been shaken up by what happened with Mr. Kamashida. The rumors about that odd calling card-esque posting aren't going away either. I didn't expect someone like you would care about that tactless stuff, Nijima-senpai. I don't know that it was tactless. <laughs> Dude, come on. Now's not the time. Anyways, we done here? We can't leave if you keep talking to us. At least try to understand my position. Being forced to deal with this horseplay. Horseplay? Ah, oh, yes, by the way. It's been decided that this place will be closed off due to the incident. I heard some people are coming up here without permission, after all. I'm sorry to have interrupted you. What was that about? She's on to us. That girl seems rather sharp. We should be cautious of her. She really pisses me off. Be careful. Yeah, talk about a pain in the ass. That reminds me. Study hard. Especially you, Ryuji. There are bound to be traps that will need to be solved with brains. Yeah, there might be. Keep in mind that everything you do in your daily lives has an impact on your abilities. True. Studying won't be so bad if we just think of it as helping us prepare to be phantom thieves. There you go. I guess you got a point. But man, it's just so late. I was all fired up about helping people, not about studying. Well, I do have somewhere interesting to show you beforehand. Oh? You guys did originally promise to help me out with my mission, after all. Huh? Mission? Follow me. What are you bringing us here for? Just do as I told you. Alright, I've got the Phantom Aficionado website up. Now what? Look for a post with a full name in it. I already said, there's no info on any big shots, don't you remember? But man, people actually go put someone's real name on here. That's some scary shit. Hey, pe pe people are very careless on the internet, what can you say? You won't listen to what I say. No, wait, there's no name on this one. Someone's bad-mouthing me in online chat rooms. This one's got a name. It's probably not a real name, though. Ignore those. Aren't there any posts about more serious trouble? I don't know what to do about my ex who's stalking me. His name is Natsuhiko Nakanohara. Oh. It says he's a teller at City Hall. A government worker's stalking someone? That should be a suitable target. All right. Now get the meta nav ready. All right. We're just gonna jump right into a palace? Fine by me. Hey! What happened to all that talk of unanimous decision? What do you think we should do? Hey, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay then, let's go. We need a name and a place, right? So the name is... Actually, we don't need a location this time. Just enter exactly what I say. The key word is... Mementos. Huh? What are you trying to pull? Just listen to me. It should work. I think. You think? Ah, jeez. That again? Uh... Mementos, was it? We got a hit? Just as I thought. Huh. Everyone disappeared. It kind of feels like I'm walking on air. Is this that Nakanohara guy's palace? That's half right, but half wrong. This is a type of palace, but it's different from the normal ones. Come on, let's head down. The shadows here lurk underground. I don't quite understand why. It may be because they're drawn to something. Huh. Underground? How are we going to get there? How? You use it every day on your way to school. Follow me. Uh, 
Wait up, cat. All right, let's see what's going on here. What the hell is this place? We seem to be in our Phantom Thieves clothes as well. Wait, our clothes changed? The shadows know we're here? Since the moment we stepped in. You should have told us. We're still safe right here. I've come to investigate a number of times. Shadows never come up to this floor. But it's a different story once you go down. This place is simply teeming with them. Hmm. More importantly, what is this Mementos? It's about time you start explaining. Mementos is everyone's palace. Huh? What do you mean, everyone's? That's kind of vague. A palace as grand as the previous castle only forms when a person's wishes are extremely distorted. So instead of many individual palaces, the general public has one gigantic shared palace. Huh. That's where we are now. Mementos. Now that you mention it, this place feels a bit different from Kamoshida's palace. When you say shared, you mean they're all put together? Even though they're just strangers? Probably all share like the same collective mindset or something. Think of it as the collective unconscious. Yeah. No, never mind. You wouldn't understand that. So what you're saying is, using this place, we can even change the hearts of people who don't have a palace? Correct. The steps to do so are slightly different though. But this place looks pretty huge. Are we gonna be able to get around just by walking? It seems the time has finally come. The time? Morgana! Transform! Huh. Come now, Panther. Ladies first. A car? No way! This comes from the way cognition materializes in the metaverse. Plus a bit of extra training. So you train to transform into a car? It's not dissimilar to how you guys transform. You turn it into a car is totally different than our clothes changing. <laughs> yeah, it kinda is. For some reason, cats turning into buses is an extremely widespread cognition among the general public. I blame anime. Why a bus though? No idea. Wait, why didn't you do this at the castle? I would have if I could, but that castle was cramped. There were tons of stairs, and no way this fits on top of a chandelier. Hey, Skull! Ladies first! Hey, stop pulling me! No, that's dangerous! Panther, please be gentle! <laughs> All aboard! Let's go! Why are you all just sitting back there? I'm a car, remember? I'm not going anywhere unless someone drives me. Don't drive yourself? You can't drive yourself? <laughs> Do you know how to drive? <laughs> Time to bust my moves. <laughs> um, safety first, okay? You'd better not smash up my beautiful face. You hear me? I'll do what I can. All right, then. We'll leave the driving to you. Now start the engine. You can't drive if it's not running. I understand that much. Jeez, what a pain. Where's the key to this thing? Why would you need a key? There's a switch just down next to the steering wheel. Okay. <laughs> that tickles. Lower. Lower! Skull, you do this. Maybe we should walk after all. Uh, is that Purin I hear? Oh, what a creepy ass car! Don't underestimate my meowdery engine. We're going full throttle. It's time to fly! Whoa! Man, this, to this place totally does feel like a palace. 
guess it'd be strange driving on the tracks like this in the real world. Anyway, Nakanohara is somewhere around, somewhere in here, right? Most likely in a segment of his own creation. Don't worry, it won't be the size of a palace. Our next step is to find an entrance to that segment. And again. What's this entrance gonna look like? I have no idea, but strong distortion should be a pretty obvious visual clue. So we just gotta go wandering around for it then? What a goddamn pain in the ass. Devil fruit. Nice. All right, got some slimes. Oh, Arnold has their weakness too. I'll pass it to Joker. I already have slime out me to talk to him, so let's just fuck him up. Alright. And that was easy. So there's the distortion. Ooh, powerful enemy. Alright, a pyro jack. Nice. A curse bomb. Oh. I love it when we find those things. So, curse bomb. 50 curse damage to one foe. Why is it no different from Cursed Magatamas? Oh well. Yeah, I might as well explore around a bit. Why not, right? Alright, that goes down. Unfortunately, I think we're only allowed to explore this first floor today. Which kinda sucks. Sleep Vial S. Oh, to replace the one I used in the palace. That's nice. That was still enough to take it by surprise. Sure. Alright, we got a life stone. Whoa. Dude, the hell is this? It's all wavy and shit. This is the place. I sense the target up ahead. Now, are you ready, Joker? Let's do it. Hey, something's there. That seems to be Nakanohara's shadow. Let me see. Some front desk guy at a city clerk at City Hall became a stalker, huh? I don't know how much evil he's done, but we have to do something if he's bothering other people. All right, we'll go talk to him. Let me start off by equipping slime. Who are you? Are you that stalker? 
Haven't you ever stopped to consider how your ex feels? She's my property. I can do whatever I want with her. It's not like she didn't treat me like a plaything. What's wrong with me doing the same? You can't treat someone like shit just because they did it to you. What a load of crap. We're gonna change the hearts of all the bastards like you. There are millions of people far worse than me. What about Matarame? He stole everything from me, but you're letting him off the hook? Matarame? What the hell's this guy going on about? An Obarian. Get ready. Here he comes. Fitting considering you have the same hairstyle. <laughs> Now that I finally have what's rightfully mine, I'm not going to let you take it away. Look, this is a winner-takes-all world. Come fight me and I'll show you what I mean. Alright. Oh, cool. Sledgehammer. Oh. I have something freaking dizzy, don't I? I do. I'll have him heal himself on his next turn. Yeah, it's a good thing I equipped, uh... All right. Slime. There we go. I still have anyone. See, I need to get more elements on my team. Let me use. Hmm. I don't want to get the experience from this. I could just use Mandrake, Chuck it Secunda. I'll just stay with Slime. Save her that way. And this will finish it. Ooh, level 12 for everyone. I leveled up. I'm I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I couldn't stop obsessing. Not after this person I trusted used me and then disposed of me. Which person? Hold on. Are you talking about that guy you mentioned earlier? Madarame? I was afraid of being thrown away again, like some worthless thing. So some selfish bastard was making you suffer too. Still, you shouldn't have dragged an unrelated woman into your mess. Yes, I know that now. I'll put an end to my love for her. Hey, you can change people's hearts, right? In that case, won't you change Matarami's heart? Before more people fall victim to him? Change... Matarame's heart? Hmm? What's that shining thing? It's the bud of a treasure. Had we left it be, it very well may have blossomed into a palace. Joker, this will make a perfect reward. Attachment pearl. So Nakanohara had a change of heart, right? Most likely. But how are we supposed to know if we succeeded? Well. The lady posted the dude's name online. If he really does change, she'll probably comment again. Yeah, probably. Mm, you do have a point. Either way, training against shadows down here is the best. It's great prep for our next target. It's also nice to be able to give courage to the people who post their problems online. On top of that, 
We can sell whatever treasure we get for some cold hard cash. That's true. Well, sounds like things are going pretty great for us. All right, we did it. Hold on. There's somewhere I want to show you guys before we leave. What? There's more? Don't worry. It won't take long. All right. Now we get to go down the next floors. Well then. We gotta do it. So, what else do you want to do? There's something I'd like to check in an area further down. The platform we saw earlier should be the way down. Let's head there first. Wait, you've been here before, right? Don't you got like a map or something? That would hold no meaning in this place. Layout changes every time you enter. For real? Oh, wait, so our path changes too? This is a place. This place is the fused cognition of a countless number of people. It's constantly shifting. Even so, our destination should be pretty close. Counting on you, Joker. That's that one, right? Oh, hey, train. The trains are totally running it. Of course they are. We're in the subway, you know. Yeah, but I thought this was a palace. Then maybe this is how the public views this place? I don't know. People go through this darkness every day? Forget that! You sure we're cool running around on these tracks? Should be fine as long as we're not on the same ones. I think. I'm no train expert. <laughs> That's reassuring. You gotta be kidding me. Anyway, let's head to the lower area. It should be right after we go down that escalator. This way. All right, there it is. The thing I want to make sure of is inside. place it's kind of creepy and a dead end at that why does it even exist now hold on just watch this is most likely not an ordinary wall if my hunch is correct it opened Information. All right. See, it's just as I thought. What do you mean? That wall wouldn't budge when I came here by myself before. But it'd be weird for the deepest part of Mementos to be some normal place like this, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. So you're thinking there's got to be more? Yeah. Now that Kamoshida's palace is gone and people are actually starting to talk about us, I knew something had to have changed down here. How deep is it? Should we try going further down? Let's not. That's not why we're here today, remember? We've already accomplished our goal. We should head back and I'll explain more once we're home. Alright. Guess that's all for today then. Huh? Hey, look! Hey, it's that kid I saw in the thieves' den who crashed through the wall. In mementos? Hmm. 
Hello, child. Maybe it's this one. Huh? He's make a fucking drink. Ooh, tasty. Hey, what's he drinking? Oh, hmm. I thought I felt something strange for a second. So, who are you guys? I feel like that's our line. We should be asking you that. Good point. Sorry about that. It's customary for a human to introduce itself before asking another human for its name. Gosh, Russ, look at his fucking ears. What are those? Those aren't ears. Ugh, I don't like how those look. Thanks for reminding me, Mr. Um, Tanuki? No, um, hmm, Cat? What took so long to come up with Cat? And I'm not either of those. Yeah, uh, getting confused about that seems pretty normal to me. My name is Jose. I'm looking for flowers. Jose. I'm pretty surprised to see some normal humans running around. Why are you looking for pl flowers here, kid? I didn't know people could just come here. Well, we are pretty special. <laughs> wait, wait, that's not important. <laughs> Who you are is what matters right now. When you said you were looking for flowers, did you mean that floating thing? That's right, pretty lady. Those seem to be the ones I've been looking for. I'm collecting as many of them as I can, because I'm studying humans. Studying humans? That's why you turned a flower into a drink? Yep. Drinking huh. flower juice counts as studying? No, it doesn't, Ryuji. Do not go home, blend up some flowers, drink it, and pretend you're studying. Could you guys help me with my research? How? By collecting flowers for me. I wouldn't ask you to do it for free, though. I find all kinds of stuff you can use while you're exploring. Huh. I'll trade you some of that stuff for more flowers. That seems pretty interesting. Well, what do you think? Should we try and get him some flowers? Seems like it could do us some good, but we don't know this kid. We gotta be careful. Oh, I'm sure he's fine. Let's give him a hand. He seems like he could use it, and it shouldn't be too hard to pick flowers while we're exploring, right? Where are these flowers? Okay. Any other reasons? <laughs> he called me pretty lady. That's all it takes, huh? <laughs> no, lady on. Oh no, are you getting cucked, cat? Yeah, it's probably fine. I mean, he said he'd give us useful stuff and all. That's true. What'd he say? Well, are you going to help me find the flowers or not? Yeah, let's help him. Thanks. Wait, wait, hang on a second. We still have no idea who this kid is. Don't go thanking us just yet, bud. Man, M Morgana is very adamantly against us helping Jose. Pretty grumpy. Uh, oh, okay. Then, are you hungry? <laughs> I learned hunger can make a person turn grumpy. Here, cookie. You can have this. <laughs> Thanks, but I'll pass. Well, yeah, you're making the kid worry about you even more. Uh, guess there's no way out of this one. I'll be looking for flowers around here, so stop by and say hi if you see me. Oh, and I guess just gathering flowers would be kind of boring, huh? Since you humans seem to enjoy playing so much, I'll come up with some fun games for you. Ah, oh, I also remembered something humans like to say to each other. Good job. Who in the hell was that? Good question. If he's studying humans, does that mean he isn't one? Probably not. I mean, he just seemed like some nice kid. Well, he didn't feel like a shadow. I wouldn't say he's dangerous. At least for now. Anyways, if we see any of those flowers he wants, I guess we can grab them for him. Whoa! I totally forgot! Huh? What's up, Jose? Hey! There's something I've been meaning to give to you all. 
something for us? Yeah, the thing is... I picked up some str something strange while I was exploring earlier. Here it is. Huh? The heck is that? <laughs> it's a star. At least that's what they look like, so that's what I call them. A star? Um... So what did you? What about it did you want to show us? Huh. Humans make wishes on stars, right? That's so interesting. Stars granting wishes. So the star is going to grant your wishes. Wait. Our wishes? <laughs> oh, it would be nice to think that. Nice to think that. Seriously? Hey. I'll give this to you. It's so sparkly and beautiful. You want it too, don't you? It's a sign of our friendship. I know what that is. Doing good? Off I go now. Good job. Hey, wait. And off he goes. Well, there he goes. Uh... A star, huh? He said he'd grant our wishes or something. I highly doubt something like that would actually happen, even in mementos. Well, I guess you can try at least try making a wish. Oh, I know. Okay, I wish for all you can eat parfaits with zero calories. All right. An extra large beef bowl with pork soup on the side. Why are your wishes just food? Mm. Nothing's happening. With Skull's wish too patty. <laughs> what about yours? Huh? You don't want to talk. I guess things don't just happen that easily. Hey. Well, I can't just throw the thing away. Hold on to it for now. Well, then. That was a bit unexpected. Let's head back now. Alright. No idea what the, I'm supposed to do with this, but thanks, Jose. Mementos, huh? Still don't really get that place. Oh, and what was that wall thing we saw at the end? Not entirely sure, but that wall must have been there for a reason. If Mementos is the public's palace, though, it might be affected by the general public's belief in us. I mean, that stands to reason. Why do you know so much about it, Morgana? My memories are a little foggy in that regard. However... I need to know what lies in the depths of Mementos, no matter what. No matter what? Mementos is not just everyone's palace. It's the source of all palaces. It used to be that palaces like Kamoshida's with one ruler simply didn't exist. So if we can do something about the greatest cause of distortions, I'm certain my appearance will... You wanted someone to save you too. I just needed pawns. Sure. I see. So that's why you came poking your nose around with us. I'll help you. I hope you can regain what you've lost. I'll be relying on you guys. By the way, Morgana, are you a boy or might you be a girl? Could it be a car? That is a possibility. <laughs> I wish I could deny it, but I uh, just can't be sure. Why not? In any case, of course I'm male. I mean, I... What is it? No, it's nothing. We're done talking about that. Anyway, we now know that we can perform minor changes of heart in mementos. If we come across any eye-catching leads, it may be worth dealing with them for a bit of combat practice. There weren't any other outstanding ones, though. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to find some on our own. I bet we'll get tons of them if we can change someone famous and make the Phantom Thieves well known. The big fish are our main targets, after all. That's true. First, you need to find a way to get through your exams. <laughs> yeah, good luck, man. I gotta study. And don't drink flower juice. Alright, well now we can use mementos. Petty criminals, that's who we deal with in there. We use it just to wait until the next target appears. If you want to get some training in O. A rather handsome lad from behind.
potentially voiced by a Matthew Mercer? Who can say? <laughs> Man, that Nakano Hara guy was a piece of cake. If we can take down some kind of big n target next, we're totally gonna get famous. Hey, we're trying to help people, not get famous. But if people don't know who we are, how are we gonna give them any courage? Are you sure, Yuji? Am I wrong? I don't think that you're necessarily wrong. But should we really be doing this at all if we don't have a reason like with Kamoshida? You mean we shouldn't be sticking our noses into other people's business? I don't know, man. If someone's in trouble, it's only natural to want to help them out. I mean, I agree with that. And I guess I was glad we were able to solve the stalker case. Plus, what good are our personas if we don't use them for good? Don't you agree, Takia? I want to help people. The same goes for me. We don't got much time to be arguing over this either. That Madarame guy bothers me. Yeah, but no getting carried away, you understand? And don't do anything to stand out like fail all your exams. Oh crap! Uh, speaking of that, I haven't studied at all. What about that star? The one Jose gave us? Wonder if that could help us ace the exams. Yeah, I somehow doubt that. Hell, I'd settle for just not failing. Bargaining isn't gonna help you here. We wouldn't use it for that in the first place. Maybe you should just, I don't know, put some actual effort in? You still got time. Fine. What's up? Is it Ryuji? Did he mention anything about mementos? If there's anything you wanna know, I can tell you. Nice. Alright, still healthy looking. Can't actually go down. Probably can't go out because. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Okay, I can read. Uh, let's. You know, let's read Pirate Legend because we could use the guts. Make sure you close up. Lone pirate ship sailed forward, forging its own path through the crashing waves. Wow! The pirate captain kid, huh? Ryuji should read this book. Hey, hey! Oh, that reminds me, we could do the Big Bang Challenge now. I might end up doing that tomorrow. I saw on the forum. Nice job sticking it to that stalker. My phantom aficionado website came in handy, didn't it? What are you talking about? It's okay. You don't have to say it. I know deep down in my heart that it was useful. Anyway, I'm in Shibuya right now. I'd love it if you'd come hear me out about your future actions. I'll be waiting for you at the diner in Shibuya. You gotta swing by. What is he up to? things bad you know with the special activities ah. you you all right Mishima oops <laughs> sorry about that I uh, haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately I've been staying up managing the fan site all night every night I think it's called PR something like that fan site the phantom thieves aficionado website Fan site for short. You need a catchy name if you want people to notice you. This is all a bit of P Thieves propaganda. Talk like some kind of weird producer, man. Basically, there's no point to taking down bad guys if nobody's gonna know about it. That's why I've started a blog for posts from people you guys saved while filtering out the haters. We need the Phantom Thieves to be seen in the proper light if we want to make the name popular, right? Eh, you've done good, kid. Really? Just hearing you say that makes my all-nighters worth it. So, actually, I really want to know how you punish people. Don't worry, I'm not gonna ask. It wouldn't be any fun if you just up and told me. I mean, you wouldn't understand it anyway, but... Yeah. After all, the Phantom Thieves have a reputation for being secretive. <laughs> I... 
I wish I could be more like you guys somehow. But I'll still be here to draw attention to the stuff you do. You can leave that part to me. I'm gonna use my fan site to promote the Phantom Thieves and weed out any negative comments. Your popularity is gonna be at my mercy. Or, uh, uh my fingertips. <laughs> It's like I'll be your strategic image management representative, so to speak. I guess that's one way to look at it. You're really hyped for this. <laughs> just you wait. <laughs> I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure that title's more than just for show. <sighs> Dude, you should get some sleep. We have exams in like a couple days. I say though. Managing the Phantom Thieves' reputation is tiring work. The forum gets all sorts of weird posts, including tons of things unrelated to reforming society. It'd defeat the purpose of the site if the truth of the Phantom Thieves was buried among all that garbage. Oh, but you don't need to worry. I'll sort through all the trash. Speaking of which, I've actually already found some worthwhile info about our very own school. Uh oh. Our quest to boost your popularity can start close to home. I'll give him my all. Mishima seems motivated. All right. All right. Mishima will give you information on targets and mementos. After making a target have a change of heart, meet with Mishima to deepen the trust between you. He'll give you more information on new targets. So that's how his works. I might be Keep doing the quests he gives you, and then you'll rank up with him. <sighs> Man, I'm exhausted. I think I'd fall asleep on the spot if I weren't talking to you. Dude, go home and go to sleep. I should head home. Yeah. See you later. Oh, Kazuna, listen to this. I was checking the fan site earlier and found a bunch of hater comments about the Phantom Thieves. Got me so mad, I'm not even sleepy anymore. At this point, I might as well pull an all nighter fighting back. Nice hustle, image manager. It's Strategic ma Image Management Rep. The title is important. Try to remember the whole thing, okay? Well, I'm gonna work my butt off. Just watch me. Well, duty calls. Better set out for the bat Battle of the Fan Site. Time for a wild night of modding and banning. <laughs> Mishima's clearly in his element. Hey! Your midterms are coming up, aren't they? Better make sure you study. What about that diner in Shibuya that Mishima told you about? Could be a good place for studying, right? <laughs> you have permission to go out at night, so no time like the present. Well then. All right, we can check the home shopping. Uh, okay, we can hang out with Sojiro. I wonder is he is. Uh, hmm. Let's check the shopping number first. Relaxation set: one recover oil, three relax gel. 3 alert capsule. The bionutrient set. Mega fertilizer, 5 garden energy. You know, I kind of want to get the fertilizer so I don't have to buy it again. Hey, hey. Yeah. Bionutrients. Well, then. Let's see, I'm trying to think. You know what? I think I'll save Sojuros because, I mean, I'm ready to rank up with him. But right now, I kind of just want to do a... Uh, I want to start this one. This one takes a lot of effort to start up. Oh, there's Mishima. I thought it was going to be banning people all night long on the forum. I think I have to talk to him Please first, right? Please consider what I have to say. You... Hmm. Hey. All right, let's go to the beef bowl shop.
Oh. What did you say? Hey, look, there's a ton of customers coming in all of a sudden. You're going to be bombarded with orders at this rate. Make sure you memorize them all. And if I memorize them all, I'm going to write them down. You know, because my memory is fucking ass. Here we go. Medium natto bowl. Large barbecue. Medium beef. Large natto. Yes. All right. Stay calm and remember the orders. What did the first person order? They ordered a medium natto bowl. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. What the second person order? Second was large barbecue. Hey. Third was medium beef. Nice. Fourth ordered large natto. Well. All right. Now you have to make everything and serve them. You appear to be having a difficult time there. Can't your manager ask to hi can't you can't you ask your manager to hire more people? You're extremely busy. Employees being overworked is becoming a real problem in the workplace. That's concerning. Hmm. I should remember this. Well then, I'll, I'll leave my payment here. Thank you for the food. Hey, hey! Wasn't that the politician who gives speeches in front of the station? He was worried about employees in the workplace, huh? Well, I think he knows who you are now. We should go to Station Square again sometime soon. My. Whoa, good work. It seems there were a lot of customers today, but you handled it well on your own. We were as crowded as today as we usually get on Yakiniku Day. I wonder if there was some event happening nearby. Thanks in advance. I paid you a little extra today. Good work. Keep it up. Holy sh- a little extra? You paid me more than double my original salary! Thanks, boss! Man... Damn. And we get three points of proficiency- 8,800 yen and three points of proficiency. Not fucking bad. Whoa, what's up with those goggles? With the goggles? You going snowboarding or something? I, I hear the cedar is blooming later than usual. Climate change and what have you. Gh, pollen allergies suck. I couldn't go to the mountains even if I wanted to. My eyes and nose would gush like rivers. That sounds awful. Seems pretty rough. That's right, the new said pollen season was starting later than usual this year. Looks like the pollen problems have only just begun. People are about to have some itchy eyes. This, mo this might affect mementos the same way weather does. Yeah, I think this causes shadows to have ailments more commonly. Or they might be asleep. Can't remember exactly. Oh, hang on. What's up? What's up? Actually... I've been having this feeling that someone's watching me. Oh, that's creepy. No, it can't be. Oh, maybe I just can't shake off the feeling of infiltrating a palace. At the palace, hmm. we're always cautious of not being noticed, you know? So it has to be my imagination. Yeah. If you say so. Hey, don't you think the atmosphere at school is kind of different now? You mean with there no be being no Kamashita? Yeah, nobody ever talked about him in the open like this before. That's true. I wish someone would just thank us for it or something. Either way, everything has worked out for the best. After all, Kamashita's actually been punished for his crimes. That victory is enough for me. I agree. Wonder what's gonna happen to him now. I mean, he's a famous criminal at this point, right? He's gonna have to, he's gonna have to deal with people hating him forever. 
That might be true, but I don't have any sympathy for him. Same here. He got what he deserved. For sure. Hey, I have some new info for you. I saw it on the fan site, but I've heard about it at school, too. Anyway, there's a guy at school whose bullying has gone too far. I want to help the victim, but that's impossible for me. I bet the Phantom Thieves could do something about it. I mean, you already changed the heart of that stalker, so that should be a breeze, right? Piece of cake. You're amazing! The bully is a brown-haired guy frequently standing out, seen standing out, fr out front of the school entrance. From what I can tell, his name is Daisuke Takanashi. I know you can handle this. Oh, you got some info on a target. I know this is a small case, but we have a name, so we should, get, should be able to consider him a target. Bark and bite of a bully. Yep. We got some info from Mishima. Let's head to the hideout. If we're all here, you want to go to Mementos, right? What are you talking about? Don't we just study for exams? Let's go. Eh, don't worry about that stuff. Let's just ignore, let's ignore the details and just go charging in head first. Um, That's easy for you to say, but we don't even have a target. Let's go. That's actually not a problem anymore. Some intel is coming from Mishima. All right. Oh, ooh, perfect timing. Let's just go in right now then. Uh, you really, you really do anything to avoid studying, huh? I mean, of course he will. All right, see, so we have to confirm requests first. Yeah, be sure to confirm your requests before you go into mementos, otherwise you won't be able to do the quests. Well, Alright, do you guys remember the most important step the Phantom Thieves need to take before they can steal someone's heart? Yes. Come on, just tell us. Oh. oh, do you mean the calling card? Oh, wait a sec, did we send one the last time? Target's tr the treasure materializes when we change the target's subconscious to the calling card. That's the rule when dealing with a palace. But in mementos, it seems like we can just go for the target immediately. What? Wait, what? We don't need a calling card or nothing? Something else already exists that fulfills the role. Fortunately for us, Mishima put a comment up in the forum saying the Phantom Thieves are coming. For a small target, that's enough of a calling card. That alone will put some fear in them for a while. Even that Nakano Hara must have seen him, seen Mishima's comments about him on the fan site. That's why the Nav picked up on him. Huh? Can we really leave something that important to someone else? Desires of Memento's shadows are nothing compared to, the, to those of the palace rulers. Still, we need to unanimously agree on our target. No ignoring the rules, even for smaller ones. Anyway, let's get to discussing the intel we've gathered. Listen up. This intel is on an arrogant brown-haired bully. He's a student at Chujin Academy. Things have gone a little too far for just bullying, though. He's abusing and blackmailing kids. I'm gonna make him pay. He's the perfect target. Come on, let's take him down. Are you sure you aren't just excited to go to Mementos? Then again, we can't really leave a guy like that be. We should go. No objections, right? Yep. We're good to go if you're okay with it. That's a unanimous decision. Okay, all that's left now is take down the target at Mementos. All right, let's take it. Or right, yeah, we, we we already have it taken. So since I need, let's go. Yo, how many targets we got? One of them, yeah. Let's do this. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna bust loose. Might be able to find some flowers for Jose too. Oh yeah, I have something for you before we head in there. Those were the last I had. You're on your own now, okay? Ah! Tew! Pollen's definitely out of control today. Definitely have an impact on Mementos. Huh? What do you mean? Well, Mementos is affected by the emotions of the public. Um... Wait, so you're saying weather changes people's feelings and that in turn changes Mementos? Not just mementos, the shadows inside, too. The type, of, the type of change will depend on what kind of weather it is. This might turn out to be useful. 
so days with bad weather like rain mementos will be more dangerous but you can also get extra items enemy reinforcements will be more common but sometimes they'll be rare enemies the items you get may be more valuable and there'll be a greater number of chests hey what happens when there's a ton of pollen i'm not too sure but the impact on mementos is determined by how the public is feeling so that's that's rainy days and like stuff like that like rain and thunderstorms i think will cause uh the shadows to be stronger and more treasure to appear how have other people been seeming to you Aww. come to think of it some of the kids in my class have bad allergies they all seem really out of it apparently the medicine makes them feel sleepy i see then there might be a similar effect in mementos then on days with heavy pollen in addition to the usual effects of bad weather the shadows and mementos will sometimes be sleeping so it'll probably be easier to beat shadows or ignore them completely. Come on, let's go find out. Begin the infiltration. Keep your head in the game. All right, Whoa. let's head on in. Actually, great. We can just do this. Mentos overview. I mean, I'll head to the end of area two because there's no point in me just going through area one first. Hey, this is where we came last time, right? Yeah, and just as I expected, the path ahead is still open. Alright, time to check it out. Yeah, it's an area. It's the next area. Oh shit, we're already at an hour. Hey, good job. Oh hey, Josac. That one closed up door is finally opened. Are you the one who did that? Sure am. I knew it. Mementos filled me in on it. But thank you. I should be able to find more flowers deeper down. Well, I should get going. Good job! Uh, we bumped into that guy again. Uh, what was his name? You mean Jose, right? He's such an adorable little kid, isn't he? Panther? I'm adorable too, you know? Um... Yeah, yeah. Anyway, he said he was looking for flowers and wanted our help, right? Sounds like he'll reward us too. Doesn't it seem like helping him would be worth it? I guess. I'm kind of curious what he what, about what we'll get. Why don't we go look for him? He's probably still around here. Mm... Looking for him is fine and all, but remember that it's risky to stay in one area for too long. There's this one really fearsome shadow in Mementos. If we hang around too long, it'll hunt us down. For real? The hell are you talking about? Why didn't you tell us this before? So yes, if you spend too much time in one area of Mementos, the Reaper will appear. He's extraordinarily powerful, so don't fight him. At least... Oh wait, no, I think they did something about the Reaper cheese. I think. They might have, to, they might have changed that in Royal. Don't know yet. But yeah, if you hear chains, fucking get out. Let's go. Alright, uh, but you know what? I'm gonna end the episode off here. Kind of weird place to end it since I can't save right now, but you know. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.